Mitch game, Mitch game, Mitch game. What's your name? I'm a Kamen Rider. And we are live. What's up, everybody? It's the Quarter Guy, and uh, it's time for another stream. And today, I am showing off this. This is the Atari 400 Mini. It's a mini console based on the Atari 400, which was a 8-bit gaming computer that uh, Atari released back in uh, 1979. Yeah, Atari didn't just make consoles. They made whole gaming computers. But, uh, so yeah, this is in a... Uh, this is a representation of another part of Atari's history. As you recall, back in November, I did a similar unboxing for the Atari 2600+, Plus, and we had a lot of fun with that. I don't find... I don't find that weird. So yeah, we are going to unbox this console here, see what's, on, see what's inside the box, and see what it can do. Of course, before we do that... Allow me to uh, remind you all about my uh, Extra Life campaign, as always. Raising money for Children's Wisconsin, currently at $204.99. Yes, I have heard about Mega Man The Sequel Wars. So yeah, yeah, that uh, homebrew. Oh, hey there. Welcome, Thomas. So anyway, uh... Yeah, if you want to donate to Extra Life to help me support Children's Wisconsin, which is my uh, local Children's Miracle Network hospital, you can go to www.extra-life.org slash participant slash the quarter guy. And there's a link around there depending on what you're, where you're watching. If you're watching on YouTube, there is a uh, pinned comment in the chat containing the link to my Extra Life page. And uh, if you're on Twitch, just look below the stream player. There should be oh, an Extra Life widget there where you can donate there. Currently, I'm in the process of getting together my first reward stream for the year, which is Lethal Company with some friends of mine. And uh, once I reach $500, we'll do my next milestone, which is Mega Man 11 with crowd control. Yeah, the nightmare is over. We finally finished X7 yesterday, so, uh... No more must I suffer through it. So, anyways, let's open this thing up. So first off, we've got the logo on the front, the image of the 400 Mini right here. We got the retro games. They're the ones who are distributing it. And on the side, we have the contents. On this side, we have the features. Up here, we've got pictures of all the various... Hmm. Oh, that's odd. I, uh, let's see. Let me just make sure of something here. Sound alerts. I see. There's no... All right, so let me... Well, at least we hear the sound alerts. Wait, you didn't hear the sound alerts? I heard the boom. Okay, let me check. Okay. Okay, let me see this.
Okay. All right, proper, okay. Okay, play another sound alert here. Boom. Okay, something is not right. I am not hearing the... Uh... Okay, we're hearing it now. We're hearing it now. We're hearing it now. Ready? Fight! Okay. Testing TTS. Okay, you're hearing the TTS now? Okay, so... Let's open this thing up. Okay, on the back we've got some of the games that are preloaded onto this thing. Okay. Let's open this up. So as I asked, QG, what off-screen event from the Mega Man series would you most love to be explored in a future game? The Elf Wars. I want to see more about how that happened. I also want to see some of the events that happened between, uh... Oh, wait. Just a sec. All right. Okay, there we go. It's okay, so... This is what the 400 Mini looks like. It is very small. Obviously, since it's Mini, this... So, this is a really small... Representation of the 400 of the 400 you see the keyboard here, but uh, Yeah, it's obviously it does not work Like I said before if I did a charity it would be for the Shriners Hospital as they did so much for me growing up Ah, Okay So here we've got the controller now, unlike for the 2600 Plus, which has the same style of controller, but a classic Atari plug, this one has a USB connection. Okay, so basically I'm very small. Okay, the keyboard, the keyboard isn't meant to work like this because it's just a model. But uh, what we have here, on the back we've got the uh, USB-C port, we have the uh, HDMI, and we have an USB-A port. And on the back I think this is the power button, and on the front we've got USB ports for the controller jacks. For those who don't know, this is the Atari 5200, but good. Well, this is on similar this is on similar 8-bit hardware to the 5200. So, yeah. It would look it would look the same. So, let's plug this in. This is a uh, looks looks like a very nice build quality here. So, we plug in the controller in the front here. Hmm. Ah, let's see what's in here. Yeah, we've got some uh, additional cords here, like a USB power cord, which will plug into a... Uh... Atari has had some interesting controllers. So, yeah. This would plug into a USB power outlet. And this would be the HDMI cable that's included with the console. Now, 
So yeah, the power button is on the back. All right. So yeah, we have the CX stick here. We have several other additional buttons on here. Several button combinations here. And the uh, quick start guide is in various languages. All right, let me just see what is going on here. So all of the 400 minis functions can be performed with this particular stick here. So, so yeah, we have a, the so yeah the controller ring here actually has functional buttons on it, which is pretty cool. So we've got the the directional stick. I see the Benny plush. Yes, you do see the Benny plush. Okay, so we've got uh, the fire button here, a shoulder button up here. A menu and home button. So this can operate in either left or right handed mode. Like this. Leave it to Atari to come up with some of the weirdest and oddest controllers known to mankind. Okay. So now just give me a moment and I will plug this thing in. And let's see how well it actually functions. All right, give me a second. Okay, so it looks like we're all set to go. So, we can choose our language. English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, even Polish. What do you think of the... Uh, all right, so... Next. Okay, so yeah. We're gonna enable 60 hertz output since we are in North America. All right. Television test, it looks good. So. Okay, so these are the games that are preloaded onto this thing. Got Airball, Asteroids, Basketball, Battle Zone, Berserk, Boulder Dash, Bristles, Centipede, Crystal Castles, all these sorts of games.
Yep. So we got... Ooh, rhythm platformer, huh? If Cybermorph is on this, then every time the ship computer gives you the Where did you learn to fly? Treatment, I say, blame the ah, fact that I'm kinda missing my dad and it's getting closer to the anniversary of his death, but let's start with asteroids for old time's sake. Okay, asteroids it is then. Alright. Let's take a look at our option our menu options here. Display options. 4-3 are pixel perfect. Well, let's enable the CRT effect as well. Let's choose a frame here, too. I'm doing okay in general. Okay. System information, shutdown device, etc. Alright, so let's... Let's get to work. I sent that Cybermorph message, and saw that no, it ain't on this. I suppose that's good? Question mark? Yeah, Cybermorph would be on the Jaguar, and I don't... And, uh... And I'm not sure if Atari wants to, uh... Really... <laughs> release a Jaguar Mini. Alright, so... Whoops. What do you mean? We need the mini version of 64 bits. What the? Ah, I must have lost a life there. Boom! Um... Okay, I didn't die, so, uh... Pressing down is the, uh... I saw the finale of Mega Man Battle Network 5, very soon Mega Man Battle Network 6. Yep. We're gonna be starting Battle Network 6 soon. Especially the worst fighting games on the system, I don't think so. Boom. All right. Best Battle Network final boss so far? I don't have to say, uh... And I also don't, and I'm also glad we don't have to deal with dangerous streets. Used a warp. Wait till it comes back on. Hey, 
WG, Ow. watch out for asteroids. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know! Come on. There must be so many asteroids on the screen and having trouble finding a safe uh, area for me to respawn. I think a net navi that helped a blind character would be cool. Guideman.x You should see the original asteroids. If this game looks like pain to you, you should see the original arcade version of asteroids. Looks like I'm dead. Oh, I must have used the warp. Game over. Not bad. Not bad for a first run. Okay. Alrighty, let's go back to the game's carousel. Okay. It's, it's over, over 9,000! So yeah, you can... So there's a virtual keyboard here too, and that's what you use. Drills on Lee are very touching. All right, so while we're here, let me just scan this QR code here in the manual because there's a bit of functionality here I want to show off later.
Hey, they got support for third-party controllers, too! Going then. Let's check out the. Uh, oh, happy! Oh, happy early birthday, uh, Jeppo one four five seven. All right, let's check out some of the other games here. All right, so we got. Oh, happy early birthday, Blue Bright and Alzora. Start the game. This is Battle Zone. There are twenty five preloaded games in the Atari, uh, on the four hundred mini. What in the wireframe hell are this game's visuals? Vector graphics, my people! Well, the, uh, the original arcade game had vector graphics. Your head explode. Oh. Oh. I got bu I got bust I got busted yeah Yeah Game frame, right? Oh, 
Fallout show? I never checked that out. Ow. to left. Oh, enemy in range to right. Yep. I'm dead. So yeah, we got Berserk here too. Yeah, you remember when I talked about Berserk, right? Oh! Oh yeah, there's voice- oh yeah, there's voice work here. Digitized voices. Got the humanoid, got the intruder! Oh no, here comes the Evolato! Oh my god! Oh my god, indeed. This looks nothing like what Guts had to deal with. Yeah, I did do a video on Berserk. Didn't you do a video on this game? I also covered the urban legend that was, uh... Centered around Berserk. Comes evil auto. The humanoid must not escape. Must not escape. The guy that died was pretty much a dead man walking. The other didn't even exist. Yeah, that's usually how it happens with urban legends. The truth is usually less exciting than fiction. Exterminate. 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 Hmm. Well... Time for a little boulder dash. Yeah, that was Berserk.
Alright, let's mine some diamonds. Okay. Yep, this is a bit of a puzzle game here. <laughs> nope. Ouch. No, I don't think, you know, they're not randomly generated. Yeah, I was screwed there. I was trapped. Well, got out of that pretty well. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were indeed made. Oh my god, people still remember Skype. Exit. Looks like there are some enemies here. Odd enemies, by the way. Yeah, it's magenta. 100% magenta. Huh? Okay, up this way. Okay, nothing here. QG, don't lie to yourself. It's pink. 
No, pink has yellow in it. This is Hyak Pacento Mazenta. Sukasa Kadoya never lies. Time to get to the exit. Where is the exit, by the way? There it is. Yeah, the, the color scheme in this one reminds, kind of reminds, it does kind of remind me of the, the Adventure of Lolo. Boom! Ow! Jeez! The back of my head. Hey, thanks for the thousand bits, Josh the Night Fury. Ow. Ow. Okay. Game over. here. Which one shall we do next? Hmm. Crystals, huh? So yeah, I've yeah I've got the restream chat, which takes uh, info from both uh, YouTube and Twitch. 
I've been using it for the past several weeks now. Let's try this one. Bristles. the goal of this here game. Yeah, the goal is to paint all the walls before time runs out. But I'm sure I don't need to remind you of this one. Centipede. Got some bugs. Remember when the 3DS tried making an edgier game of Centipede?
Ouch. Oh well. Have you seen the Under Night 2 arcade endings yet? Because some of them go kinda crazy. No, I have not seen the Under Night 2 endings. Boom, 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 blast away! Ow. Let's go for Crystal Castles next. See you later, Husky Boy! Lars ending in Tekken 8 is a straight-up Starship Troopers reference. for the last gem. Oh no! They really liked the Nutcracker Suite, didn't they? Oh no. The original version of this game had a trackball. Alright, skeleton, come over here. Oh good, got the last gen. Yeah.
Oh boy. Come on, where's the last gem? Oh, I see. Up there. Okay, Electroglide. Encounter! Flip and flop. Henry's house. Hover Bover. Ah, oh, let's try this one. Minor 2049er. By Bill Rogue. By Bill Hogue. What I know, just what is that death animation anyway? Ah, oh, splat. You do take ball damage in this game. Okay, so virtual keyboard. Okay, so home and menu together. Alrighty. Zap. 
Yeah, that death animation is weird. what it looks like the goal is. Ah! Oh well. I mean, let's try this one next. O'Reilly's mine. Try this again. The treasures are there.
Oh boy. we got here? Seven cities of gold. Oh, let's try Yump next. Ooh. It's a rhythm-based platform game. Try this now. Alright. Yeah, this one is interesting. Made it through! Lover? Wonder what that means. Ahoy, lad lovers! Keep the rhythm.
Game over. There's this browser game called Run, and it's litter rally just yump but without the rhythm element. Ah. Okay, right, so. So let's try Airball. Don't run out of air or explode, huh? Take a quick break, do some stretching here, and then I'll show you another one of the main features of the 400 Mini. So just sit tight, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, y'all. So. Okay, you guys can hear me, right? Okay, we're good now. So, now there's something else I want to show ya. In regards to what the 400 Mini can do. You can also, you see, the 400 Mini is capable of loading games from a USB memory stick for the Atari 400, Atari, 4, Atari 800, the Atari XL and XE, and the Atari 5200. Ah, here it is. When you have, uh... So... So, when you have a USB memory stick, or you can enter basic programming mode, you can access the files here. So... What computer did you have in school? Apple II or Atari? It was Atari. No, 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 not Atari. It was... It was Apple II. Load up this one. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we're, yeah, Atari 5200. All right, let's start the game. Huh? Okay, so it's for each one. Who else wants an Apple II Mini? Remember at last year's August in the library there was an event Whoops. showcase of old gaming computers to check out and it was fun. Yeah. Oops. Okay, let's... Okay. Okay. 
Now wait a minute. Okay, let, let me reset this. another one. Okay, so that something's not right with that. Alright. Whoops. Okay. Right, the Atari 5200 controllers uh, had that whole analog thing going. Oof. 
Let's try that. All right. Here's an idea. QG at the Arcade Dragon's Lair. Ah. Something's coming up the plumbing. Poor Luigi's in a bind. Giant turtles out to get him. Creepy crabs are just behind. Fighter flies. Jeepers. Yikes. They're all coming out the pipes. Alright, let's try this one. Oh. Fifty two hundred. Isn't this a guilty pleasure for you? The 2600 version was. Okay, something is not right here. Except I'm having trouble con Except I'm having trouble controlling this dang thing! Atari used the melody for the Car 54, Where Are You? Theme in the commercial for Mario Brothers. Yeah. What? Something's wrong with the controls, I swear. Okay. Why isn't it moving the way I... I don't get it. to show that you can actually do this sort of thing. didn't work. All right. Let's try this home. Let's try a uh, under the homebrew and ROM hack games. So let's see. System game settings. Okay. 
All right. All right. Let's try this. Oh. Let's try this. Let's try this conversion then. All right, how high can you get? Okay, Donkey Kong. Okay, one thing I will say the uh, 400 Mini is uh, accurate in. It's certainly accurate in showing how notorious the 5200 controllers were with malfunctioning. Ah. Hello. Ah. Okay. All right. Let's see if these settings are better. Much better. Ah. Come on. Ah. Bah. At least I can say I give this thing a good, honest try. I'm probably gonna have to look something up to get 5200 games control better on this thing. But at least this is quite an interesting uh, trip down memory lane. Anyways, uh, I guess this is where I'm gonna call it. Next time... ...is gonna be... ...the next Splatfest. Do you have the A500 Mini? 
A500 Mini? No, I do not. But, uh, next time. The Splatfest with Team Zero One, which is also going to be, uh, the birthday of, uh, Fifth Eye Gamer. So, uh, look forward to that. In the meantime, let's see if there's anyone worth raiding going on right now. Yeah, Omega Snake is streaming God of War Ragnarok right now, so... Alright. So we're gonna go, go on over right over there. So, uh... In the meantime... Thank you all again for watching! What I'm team are you picking? Team Bunnies, by the way. Team Bunnies, by the way. I'm the Quarter Guy, and until next time, the arcade is closed.